You never know what's going to happen when you come into the light. You, you don't think this is going to happen, you know, but you just... You feel everything. That's it, darkness is. It, it has nothing to teach. Nothingness. It just is. It's like the screen on which the movie of life is playing out <laughs> perfectly <laughs> imperfectly imperfect <laughs> light and dark it's the same force just different aspects there's only, there's only one, there's only one. The darkness is just here to hold the space. It has no opinion, no judgment. It just, just is pure, pure. organic sense of humor too though I bumped into the wall and it <laughs> didn't even say anything <laughs> I love my conversations with darkness it was beautiful it was profound but the sweetest part was the sweetest part was when I was just with it. There's two ways, there's two ways to be in the darkness. One is with the mind, the other one is with the heart. With the mind, it tells you, it gives you a narrative, tells you about your experience. With the heart, you just melt into it. very powerful and it's just it's just there it's yielding it's very fragile too <sighs> one time I was eating and I was very careful always Pouring gently to make sure I don't spill anything. I poured in tomato soup. I could taste it was tomato because I only poured in just a little bit. And I thought I need to pour in a little bit more. And it just overflowed. I was like, and the first word that came to me was no. Because it went all over me and the floor. And it, I mean, I jumped into action. It was it was almost automatic, you know. I'm like, I can't just let. I'm not. I can't see what's happening. I I I need to bring in the light. So immediately I did, and I just did whatever. I cleaned everything off, whatever, how quickly. And when I was done, I turned lights back off, and I just I sat with it, and I thought. My fear was, the initial fear was, well, the disappointment, disappointment came. You know, that I f failed and I was gonna lose the connection. And as I sat with it, once I was in the darkness again, 
can't lose the connection one. Once, once the connection is there, you can't lose it. So. It was right back to before I turned the lights on. It was automatic. It was... It didn't care whatever, whether there was lights on or not. It was... There was lights and then there wasn't and it was fine. It was, everything was allowed to just be and it was okay. The only thing that wasn't making it okay was my mind coming in and making a judgment about it initially and, but it's okay and I sat with that and I realized it's okay. You're allowed to be here too. And, I mean, I had so many profound experiences in there. I feel like I've lived a whole lifetime with darkness. <laughs> One time I woke up and I could see shimmering lights everywhere. It was, a, it was just big shimmering lights. I felt like it was a starry night and I, I just stood in the middle of all that and I felt like I was floating. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful experience to have that the darkness gave me. And then I sat to have a meal. I was holding the sandwich in my hand and I love staring into the darkness. Gazing into the darkness was my favorite thing because there's so much in there. There's so much fullness, richness. It's not just, it's not dark. It's, there's so much movement there. And then there are moments where I felt my consciousness expand beyond the body. You know, just the feeling of consciousness just filling everything not just you and that was beautiful to, to feel that wanted to be as open and as present as possible I would do my chants every once in a while and then sit with just sit in the quietness after that but the silence is my favorite part really just being with the space, not looking for any answers, you know. Um, sometimes we come in there with so many questions we want answered and I just wasn't looking for anything to be answered. I just wanted to be with it, sit with it, you know, without poking it. Well, what is this and why do I, you know, that and this and there's nothing to do, it has nothing to teach you. Nothingness is the lesson. It's, you know, just, just watching it be there and sometimes it just wants to be there and then it's gone. Sometimes it wants to be there for a while and that's okay, I have no judgment. You can be with me as much as you want. Um, I did feel a, a lot of things but they're, they're part of the human experience, you know, and they're just as beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow, I mean, this really, this experience affects everything, your whole system. It just engages everything, you know. I mean, I still feel it in my body. It's just... It's nothing like... A, I've ever experienced in my life. It's beautiful.